Hello everybody, welcome to Amazing You. I am your host. My name is Dr. Rani Panakodi. I am a certified hypnotherapist using rapid transformational therapy method. I am a Mars Venus life and relationship coach, breathwork coach, astrologer, tarot reader, and compassion life force energy practitioner. And today everybody, I have the great pleasure to introduce you to the wonderful Tunde Ajayi. Tunde is a professional boxing trainer and manager. Tunde, Tunde is also the CEO of sports management company called Stamina for Sale. Tunde is also the current trainer of the former WBO European and international Commonwealth champion and two times world title challenger, Mr. Anthony Yard. Welcome today to Amazing You. Oh, thank you for having me, <laughs> Dr. Rani. Um, I'm honored, um, grateful and humbled um, by your invitation and um, looking forward to talking to you and uh, your audience. Uh, today. Thank you, Tunde. It is a great privilege to have you. <laughs> and I know you are very busy, all that you do. So thank you for talking to the audience and sharing your story and your knowledge. So let's get started with the first question, which is about if you can tell us more, but briefly about your story, Tunde. I'm glad you said briefly. The stories is too long. Like we would be, we would literally be here till midnight. Yes. Um, but I always like to say that, you know, I like to use the word. It's a word I, I came across. I, I didn't know about it. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't reading a dictionary growing up, not where I came from anyway. Yes. But along the way, I learned about a word called serendipity. Okay. And, uh, and that word really, uh, says everything about me and my life and how it's gone it, it was literally by chance by luck you know i like to believe or I, or I do believe that it's clearly because of god and mm -hmm. whether you call god universe allah jesus buddha yahweh that thing it's the thing that I feel everyone has inside of them. And, and you know that thing is directing you. That thing gives you warning signs. And uh, it is the roadmap for our lives. And so my life has been very serendipitous. And I don't think that's the right way of saying it. And it's just incredible. When I look back to the level from to the very start, to where I am now, yes. you know, not having any formal qualifications, not even doing um, the, 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 the traditional amateur course for boxing. Okay. Um, I didn't do none of that. Right. I'm, I'm self-taught. Okay. I literally watched boxing and really wrote up an, uh, a 10,000 page document of boxing, a manual of boxing. Wow. And I've not changed it from the very beginning to now. And as I said, I've changed numerous fighters, Southern area champions, uh, British champions, European champions, mm -hmm. and single-handedly taken, um, well, I like to say both of us, but a, a young man, um, who only had 12 amateur fights to the elite level of the sport twice. Wow. And, and in this box in this boxing game, if you yes. if you if you challenge for a world title once, it's round of applause. Okay. And that's with all the help, all the elite help and all the elite services uh backing that person, whether it's Olympic funding, what have you. But to do it twice. It, that's not luck. That's not luck. And 
there really is no explanation for me other than total belief in yourself mm -hmm. and blocking out all forms of negativity and waking up every day. As I said to you just before we come in, life is polarity. Yes. So there's good, there's bad, there's up, there's down, there's left, there's right, there's positive, there's negative. Everything has an opposite side. So I've, I've always felt that I don't have any control over what another person is doing and what another person is thinking because it's their own minds. Yes. So in my mind, I was never worried about the fact that I didn't do things the traditional way. I didn't go through the courses and, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't um, start off being a really... Uh, uh, understudy for years under another trainer, a more recognized trainer. And believe me, anyone who knows about boxing, I've taken the most vile criticism wow. for the last almost 20 years. Mm. 20 years from the very beginning. It's, it's calmed down now. This year was the first year after Anthony's world title fight, uh, January the 28th. It's the first year in all my years in boxing that I've been given a table at the annual British Boxing Awards lunch. And that, that and, and for me, really that, it's not the icing on the cake, but it was validation for mm -hmm. me because remember, I did it my way. I did it my way. And I, I just feel that, I'm an example or definitely someone that others can look at in any field, uh, yes. let alone boxing, to show you that if you believe in what you're doing, mm -hmm. I mean, really believe and are prepared to put in the work, put in the hours, yes. then anything is, is, is possible. You know, I heard, it may be my dad, he said to me that life is mostly about what you can take mm -hmm. not what you can give it's what you can take yes it's how much you're willing to you know climb through the mud and yes. the dirt that's thrown at you mm -hmm. because because there has to be opposition yeah. whatever level you're you're trying to uh, reach remember i always say it's polarity so there always has to be an equal and opposite force mm. the trick and the key is to focus on your side yes and because of my focus you know it, it's just i mean the boxer in uh what you mentioned anthony yard yes was the first boxer mm. to ever get a global deal with adidas Wow. And we done that. Myself and Anthony, you know, two guys rolling up to Germany, Herzl, Adidas's headquarters yeah. on our own. No okay. fancy lawyers, no, yeah. nobody. It's like even today we was just talking about it. Like what we've done is just, it doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Us being in the ring with other fighters who have been boxing since they're five years old that come from generational um, history of mm -hmm. being in the sport. It doesn't make logical sense that we've done this, that what we've achieved and even, even more impressive is the fact that a trainer and a fighter started together. And despite our losses, yes. we, continue to be as strong as ever and again anyone who knows about boxing mm -hmm. knows that that's not only a rarity but i would say in today's age an impossibility mm -hmm. and so there's so much to be said for actual believing in yourself believing in what you're doing and if anything that's that's all i ever tried to put out mm -hmm. the people put out to the universe i coined the phrase dream it believe it become it i say it again dream it yes because we all have dreams mm -hmm. but then your job is to believe your dream yes. you not the next person not outside not not anyone from the outside but you you 
Dr. Rani have to believe yeah. in your dream, regardless of circumstance, regardless mm -hmm. of anything else. Yes. But then the part what most people don't usually fall down at is becoming. Mm. That's the getting up in the morning. That's the doing the runs. That's the going to the gym when you don't want to. That's that's going 20 years without being funded mm. and literally training people. I tell people today, I used to train people because I, I wrote a system down. I used to train people just because I wanted to put out my system to the world. Okay. I used to train people for like two pounds an hour. Mm. And I would literally sleep in the gym. Okay. Just because I was so confident that what I had written from the universe, because again, I wasn't educated by anyone, but I, I knew how to write, I had a pen. My father is, is educated, he's a chartered accountant. Um, but again, the magnificence of my dad was because he brought me up on his own. I think I, I, I know that's a question. Uh, mm. He's my hero and he gave me that belief mm. and um, I've run with it. You know, I don't believe in luck. I just believe that every human being has a gift. Yes. And if you focus on the gift and know that, that's what I said to you, it's not what you can give, it's what you can take. Yes. If you can take the bad days, if you can take people saying bad things about you, then you can reach the very top of your craft. And that's what myself and Anthony have done. Mm -hmm. You know, givers gain. I always like that saying, givers gain. And I feel that in empowering or um, giving another person what, what the universe, what God gave me, yes. I have become successful because being a giver and I feel that if we're all givers mm. in life we can literally get what we want yes uh, thank you Tinde you you made some really interesting points you talk about how you kept going day in day night you slept at the gym it was the power of your determination to succeed no matter what the odds says yes. about you it's yes. like you kept going but Another important thing is with your imagination, everything is possible. So you had that, you held that vision in your mind of success, of, of succeeding, of being the best and you achieve it, even if it takes longer, but it shows the power of the mind, the power of using your imagination that Bob Proctor and all these people talk about. So you yes. put it into practice and it's, and what you said, it's 95% mindset and only 5% the strategy. Yes. Um, yeah. Again, again, I, I give you something that just happened to me yes. <laughs> on Mother's Day. So my co-host of our show, Spencer Fearon, um, we have a show on, 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 on YouTube called, called The Fight Is Right. The okay. Fight Is Right. And we interview people from the world of boxing. Um, Spencer lost his mother mm. earlier this year. And so he phoned me on S Sunday and I can hear he was feeding it. It was the first Mother's Day in his whole life without his mother. Wow. So I'm listening to him and I say, Spence, come on, let's go for a coffee. Mm. You know, early morning, I said, let's go for a coffee or breakfast club, let's go to breakfast club. Anyway, cut a long story short, we ended up in uh, Bromley Okay. We've had coffee. We've said, come on, let's go for a walk around the, the glades in Bromley. Uh, he said, let me go into the, the, the Apple store. We go into the Apple store. He gets his phone checked, gets a diagnostic check. So we're walking out the store. A young man comes up to me and says, Tundi, I'm mm. a big fan of yours. Um, and I've quoted you in my new book. Okay. And I'm like, <laughs> how? Like, it's like, it just doesn't even make sense. And so I'm showing you the book here. Wow. So on the top, on the top, there's a quote, which when you spoke about imagination, I was gonna, I was gonna say it. So there's a quote that says, imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's coming attractions. Yes. And that's by Mr. Albert Einstein. Mm. But under that quote, 
Yeah. Remember how this whole day started? Yes. And I told you at the beginning of this, my whole life has been about serendipity. Yes. So under the quote of Albert Einstein, this young man says to me, look, dream it, believe it, become it mm -hmm. by Tobia Jai. So again, Dr. Rani, yes. what are the chances of me meeting an uh, uh, author, yeah. Mr. Kieran Ekiledo, who has written a book called The 12 Boxing Principles of Success, mm -hmm. Train Like a Fighter, Think Like a Champion. Mm -hmm. What are the chances of me meeting a man I've never met in my life, him writing a book and quoting me next to Albert Einstein? You know what? Because you are aligned to what your purpose is about. That's why you get to see all this serendipity, all these synchronicities happening into your life. And it's just, it, you know, it, I mean, I cry about silly things. I have, I, this one is not even crying. I haven't like, because I'm to this day, today is whatever day it is, but your Sunday it happened and I'm still in shock because the universe, God, yeah. Allah, Jesus, Buddha, Yahweh, whatever you want to call it, has always given me signs and messages that this is my journey, this is my purpose. And you just continue, continue. You know, I've always told people, I don't focus on money. Mm. I don't focus money. Money is a lot of people, and there's nothing wrong with focusing money. You need money yes. for everything. And I, I, you know, I'm not here saying uh, don't don't like money. You yeah. got to, you know, you need money to buy it. any any great thing in life mm. that you, you know that uh, it costs. So money, yes. but for me, I've never focused in money. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've just focused on my passion. Yes, and uh, um, I've been blessed to make my passion pay to a certain degree, and so. The focus has to be enjoying yourself and really believing in what you say you believe in fully and, and walk in the journey. Absolutely. Thank you, Tunde. Because I have heard people telling me, I don't have money to follow my passion. But <laughs> you can start with something small, you know, like you did. You just followed yeah. your passion and then it became something bigger. Now you have your own business. So... And can I just say, sorry to cut you. Go ahead. My father, who's a qualified man, a professional, mm. for so many years along this journey, said, give up. There's no money in this. You know, my mother's a doctor. My father's a chartered accountant. They became there, came from the village of Nigeria and qualified. And I'd never been through that educational system. Mm -hmm. And so right from a young age, I was always following my dream and a dream. And to be fair to my father, he allowed me to do that mm -hmm. because he brought me up on his own. You know, I, I, I didn't, I was the only kid on the estate that was brought up by their father. Everyone else was brought up by their mothers. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have that feminine love, uh, um, love and care because my mom was in Nigeria. Mm. Uh, and, and my parents had split up. So my attitude has always been one of focus and I've got to get things done, which is beneficial and it has been beneficial, but it's been to my detriment at the time because, you know, you, a, a man is a man. Yes. You know, a man, a, man a, a, a mother is a mother. So I don't believe that a man could be both and that a woman could be both. There has to be input from both um mother and father but my dad done a, a great job and um mm. he's my hero as well yeah definitely yes and can you tell us briefly about what you do and how can people reach out to you today well uh, my day to day is professional boxing okay <laughs> i'm always looking out for young talent you know i've never I mean, maybe that might change, but I've never had the opportunity to train somebody who was, who was already an amateur champion. I've always looked at the diamond in the dirt. Okay. And as I've showed you with Anthony, which is my greatest success story. Yeah. I took a 12 fight novice, amateur novice, mm. all the way to the top of the mountain. 
And so I love that journey. I love seeing uh, the potential in people and not just getting it when they're already, you know, when they're already developed. Although it will be good to have, <laughs> I think I'm deserving of someone who's won amateur titles and something like that, but it don't matter to me because it's my passion. Yes. And so boxing is my day-to-day -day job. Okay. We do have a podcast. Okay. Um, as uh, you were one of the first guests on my podcast, because talking about life and experiences and current issues and uh, how we can uh, how the, how we can uh, you know a solution for them and just hearing people's stories has always been my passion. It was my passion when I was a young child. I was always into trying to help people. I wanted to tie people together as opposed to pull them apart. And so other than boxing, that is my, my my main passion. But sports management is my career and boxing is my love and my goal. And it's what I do day in, day out. And the talk show and the commentating is just the other side of, of, of it. So I can be contacted on the website. The website is staminaforsale.com. The email is Tunde at staminaforsell.com. The Instagram is Tunde Ajayi number nine. Um, and there's a whole story into why I called my system of boxing system nine. Um, uh, Facebook, Tunde Ajayi, everything Tunde Ajayi and Stamina for Soul. So, so that's it, I'm I'm there. I'm, I'm very, very, I do answer regardless of the, the, I don't follow no one on Instagram. Yes. Um, but what I do, is I answer anybody. I, I get when I when I answer people when they message me they're like, oh my god, I can't believe. But I've, I, it's that thing, Doctor Rani. I'm not famous. I don't. No matter what the outside world will ever tell me, I'm not famous. I'm just a a a piece of dust in this earth, with millions and trillions of other dusts mm, just yes. doing what he believes. So this fame thing has never been able to get me. I don't believe with I don't believe in that famous thing. I believe people are rewarded for everything they do. And I feel that to a certain degree, you know, we should always try to answer people who ask questions. Obviously, when I've got a fight coming up, everyone knows do not message me because I won't answer. But other than that, I'm very, very easily contactable. And um uh, Instagram is is really where I live, really. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Look you are not just uh, today you are you are you are stars in this universe we are all stars in this big universe because i like that i like that. each one of us you as well, as well each one of us we are here for a specific purpose for a specific mission yes. so we have a role to play in this universe so you are a star today yeah. thank yeah. you and you too <laughs> obviously yeah, yeah. 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 yes Tunde, it has been a great, great pleasure to have you, to listen to you, to talk to you. Yes. I would say thank you so much for taking your time to talk to the audience, to share your story and your journey. Yes, and thank I you. wish you even more and more success and abundance in everything that you do, and that everything prospers around you, everywhere where you go. And 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 same to you and 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 you know listen I feel that like, uh, we've we've known each other under a week but it feels yes. like a lifetime it feels yes. like a lifetime it feels like we can talk for a long time and that's what energy does energy yeah. connects you to the right source you don't need to look for it yeah. it will come it will just come it just and this belief thing I I will preach it to the day I I you know God takes my my last breath mm -hmm. it's real and the people need to stop listening to the outside as much and listen to that voice that we're yes. all going because i feel that society today has tried to make you go away from that yes with yes distractions social media even me i'm like i'm not yeah. i'm not a hypocrite like even me like i'll be on yes. my phone and i'm like you need to switch off your notifications now because you're not li you, you the voice from within is being blocked out mm. by other noises and that's the key you need to block it out and get close to yourself. Listen to the voice and act and don't be afraid to go where maybe others are telling you not to go. Mm. And I feel the more determined you are, the more you don't, the more resilient you are, the more you don't give up and the more you believe in your dream, 
when that success, when that day finally comes, you will realize it was all worth it. <laughs> Thank you, Tunde. Thank you for the audience, for listening, for watching. Tunde has been amazing. You are amazing, Tunde. Yeah, well, it's your, your show's amazing you, so it's amazing yeah. you. You are amazing. You are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And the audience is amazing for watching, for listening, and for subscribing, everybody. So I wish you a great evening, everyone. And I will see you all with another speaker very soon. Thank you, Tunde, and thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.